And finally, it was a Cold War giant of the skies built to carry Britain's first nuclear bombs and deter Russia from launching an attack. Now the last Vulcan bomber is retiring and at the start of its final flying season, Duncan Golestani got a chance to see it in action in Yorkshire. She has an agility and grace that has made her a favourite with spectators across the country. But before becoming a star of air shows, the Vulcan was an icon of the Cold War. From the makers of the Lancaster bomber, it is among the best of British engineering. The cockpit might be cramped, the visibility poor, but nonetheless these planes are adored by pilots. For such a large aeroplane, it's absolutely amazingly agile and as you've just seen during the display, very, very powerful as well. I think it's most pilots' dreams and given there's only five of us in the world who do that, then it's absolutely exceptional. The Vulcan was built as part of Britain's Cold War arsenal. As a deterrent, it was mission accomplished. But with the bomber's time in service come to an end, the call came for its first combat mission. During the Falklands War, pilots flew an 8,000 mile round trip to attack Port Stanley's airstrip, the planes refueling mid-air seven times. Martin Withers was at the controls then and still is now. It was all unproven. Nobody had practiced it. The calculations for fuel consumption, how much fuel we needed, how much could be transferred, was all worked out on little pocket calculators and slide rules. Now Martin flies this last active plane with an iPad on his lap, but technology can't take away the safety fears. This Vulcan will retire in October. Its new home will be a museum and training academy, but before that, Vulcan XH-558 has one last summer in the skies. Duncan Golastani, ITV News, Doncaster.